action. action. <laughs> okay, welcome to the 10 top Hollywood piano moments. We're here, we're having fun. We're, well, okay, I'm not, ha well, I am having fun, but yes. I'll be having more fun once I see these these videos, because most of them I haven't actually yes, seen. Yes, I'm really excited about this, because this is gonna be some genuine reaction from you. I've yes. taken a look at this, I've looked through some of these videos and found some cool facts about them. So basically what we're doing is we're looking at some movies that have piano moments in them. Yes. And we're gonna try and analyze it and give ourselves an opinion on it. And I think we could probably rank them too at Ooh. the end, like out of 10. Out and, of 10. And give them kind of a, a general idea of what we feel about it and how, how accurate. How the And how accurate they are, yeah. Ooh, okay, I like that. Yeah. And I think so. that like, the cool thing about Hollywood and the piano is like, we're all inspired at some point, somewhere, mm -hmm. by something. And I think the movies, I mean, piano music in movies and just in soundtracks in general mm -hmm. is, can make the film. Totally. Um, and then you get these iconic films, like what are some of the ones on the list? We've got Rocket Man. Rocket Man, we've got Big, Casablanca. Like, oh, all we've got these so massive, many good ones. They're so cool. So I'm really excited to hear from you too. Like, have you been inspired by these? Mm -hmm. Is this list the same list that you would make? Like, what would your top 10 Hollywood piano mm -hmm. moments be? Yeah. But before I get ahead of myself, let's dive into the very very first film, which is? Rocket Man. All right, here we go. Yeah, it's. It's. I love him one so much. Yeah, you should see them. They're they're good. <laughs> okay, so can he? Did he learn to play the piano? Because it looked like he was actually playing the piano. Yes. Like it looked accurate. It's quite fascinating. So yes, yeah, so the actors here are uh, Taron Egerton, uh, okay. who's playing Elton John, and this other character that you see at the doorway. Yeah. Uh, that's Jamie Bell, and he's playing Bernie. Bernie. Oh. Yeah. Um, so this was released in 2019, um, and for the whole movie, Taron Egerton is actually singing and playing. That's crazy. So that's Taron, and it's wow. not Elton John, and it sounds like Elton John, which is he really cool. He did such a good job. Really cool, yeah, the emotions he actually put into his the playing. The inflections. Very it's cool. It's all there. Yeah, and I think you're gonna find throughout this list, there's a lot of actors that are really good at doing that, that but Taron nailed it, so good job, Yay. Taron. So I think they really, like, captured this moment perfectly. I think the playing, though, is top notch. I was very impressed. Mm -hmm. So if you were to rank this out of 10, 10 being like the best film moment of piano history you've ever seen. Well, I haven't seen a lot of these, so I have a really hard time ranking it, but I'm That's gonna fair. give it like, definitely an, an 8.5. An 8.5, I would say eight, yeah. Okay. I just wanna leave a little bit of room. I want some wiggle room. Yeah. <laughs> but it was really good. And I, I thought really it was like, it. like when the strings came in, cause first I was like getting my, find myself getting like emotional, and mm -hmm. then I was like, wait a minute, there's no strings in the living room. Nope, and then they switched to but the studio. But then they're in the studio, and I was like, oh, okay, fine, mm -hmm. this was amazing. Yeah, it was a good transition. Yeah, really I was cool. very, I was, Cool. Well, Can't I think it. we should look at the next one here. Okay, number two. Number two is Big, and this is a really oh, cool one. Oh, I do one. know this one! Yeah, I'm it's so a lot excited. of fun. I'm really excited for this one, because it's like, I don't know, it's, it's a little bit more playful. It's gonna bring so. out the, the kid and all of yes. us. So okay, let's take a look. Let's check it out. Piano lessons. Three years. Hey. 
was. I forgot how fun that was. That was, yeah. It, I always love seeing those pianos just lying around. Where do you see those just, lying around, Sam? I, big superstores or supermarts like you had in that video where it's like there's like a toy store and then there's just like a it's piano. Just like a floor piano? Yeah, I've seen some with lights too. And they that just had lights? lights? Yeah, it's really cool. I feel like they were like actually, like that was really happening. Mm -hmm. That was not fake playing. And that wasn't, which is really cool. Um, but I just, the amount of bouncing they had to do. That must, that must have been rehearsal after rehearsal. Uh huh. And I think right at the very end, they started playing in synchronization, like yes. right away, and they sped up the tempo. Yes. I was like, Wait a minute. Hold on. Yeah, and it was all. It, it was, was all rehearsed. them. All rehearsed. Oh yeah, my gosh, it's really that's cool. Incredible. Yeah. So this movie was released in 1988. Um, it's called Big. Good old days. Mm -hmm. The actors here are Tom Hanks, Obviously. who's playing Josh Tom in this, Hanks. and then Robert uh, Loggia, who is playing McMillan. That's the character. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I have you ever have you so have you played on one of those? Stepping I have. Panels? Yeah, they're a lot of fun. They had one at Science but, World in Vancouver. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I played them in like a, I think it was a science center somewhere else. I can't remember where, but yeah, Chopsticks and uh, Heart and Soul. Those are the two songs that were played, and they're super recognizable. But I'm pretty sure um, for the piano players out there, you play that song and everyone's like. Yay, or no. No, <laughs> don't play that. Yeah, so it's kind of cool that they used it in this movie. Um, yeah, it's just, I think this film really just captures the joy of music and the playfulness of I music. I love that. I would totally agree. Mm -hmm. And I think it's like, I feel like we should keep Chopsticks and Heart and Soul for the floor piano. I agree. Yeah, 100%. It's just, I can't, I can't have them anymore. Okay, so to rank this movie. Oh, I'm going to get a 10. 10. Yeah, I have to because it's so fun. I, it made me so full of joy to watch. And everything in life should be based off of ch finding more joy. That's fair. I'm going to give it a 9. Fine. Just because I have one in mind that I really like. So okay, fine. So I've saved my 10. Okay. But 9 for me. Cool. Okay. Okay, so the next one here, um, this one's an older movie. Um, this one's called Casa Blanca. I, I don't know that I've seen this movie. I don't think I have either, but... Ooh. I've been called Sam and played against Sam. There's a quote in the movie. Oh. So you'll see here um, why that is. Okay. Um, but we're going to watch it and we'll see how it goes. Okay. So let's take a look. Play it, Sam. Play as time goes by. Oh, I can't remember it myself. I'm a little rusty on it. I'll hum it for you. Da 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 Sing it, Sam. You must remember this. A kiss is just a kiss. A sigh is just a sigh. The fundamental things apply as time goes by. And when two lovers woo, they still say I love you. On that you can rely. No matter what the future brings, as time goes by. Sam, I thought I told you never to play. It was, yeah, and I think this is probably one of the most iconic piano scenes, at least in that era, that 1940s era. Oh my gosh, um, she was just like lost in the music, mm -hmm. it was transporting her. I have no idea about this movie, I should probably watch it, but yeah. I have no idea what's happening, but she's just, like the music is taking her mm -hmm. somewhere. So from what I gathered, and again, I haven't watched this movie either, but uh, I think there was a previous relationship or some form of fling between mm -hmm. the gentleman that came out mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the, the lady there. That would make sense. So the lady was reminiscing and having she, this like memoir. Yeah, she was connecting with mm -hmm. her feelings. And I think the man wasn't, like he has the same memories, right? but he doesn't want to remember them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, this is a really cool movie, Casablanca, 1942 it released. Um, the actors here are Humphrey Bogart, Ingrid Bergman, of course. Uh, Claude Rain and Paul Henrid. And the person playing the piano here is called, uh, his name is Dooley Wilson. That's so cool. And his name is Sam in the movie. So that's kind of cool. I like that. Your name is Sam. My too. dad used to always say, play it again, Sam. Play it again, and, Sam. And he was referencing this movie. So fantastic. Kind of cool. Um, this film was actually filmed on the Warner Brothers lot. Okay. And fun fact, I was actually at that lot and I got to touch the piano. In that this piano? Movie. That piano. It was Really cool. It's a really small little oh. piano, and it's got beautiful paintings on it. 
And my favorite part of this film, of this little clip, is when he takes the bench and just like, oh, oh, and gone, and he disappears, because, yeah, but it was very cool, very cool to be able to, oh, be able to touch that, so. I love how that really just showcases the power of music and how it can yes. take us to a moment. On that note, I was going to ask you if there's a song that is, that uh, gives you that reminiscent feeling, Ooh, or has that emotional attachment. Uh, Le'Veon Rose. Really? Like I don't really have an experience that I connect to it, but mm -hmm. every time I hear that song, I just feel so like wistful and mm -hmm. like, I don't know. That's cool. Lovely. That's How awesome. About you? Can you feel the love tonight by Elton John? Elton John. Yeah. Oh yes. Okay, mm -hmm. that makes sense. Yeah, so I love that one. So, but yeah, out of ten, what would you rank this movie? Um, I wish I had seen the movie. I'm gonna give it like a seven. Cool. I'm gonna give it an eight, just because it's so iconic okay, as a, as a film. But it's. Very cool to see. Okay, so next up we have. What number are we on? We're four? number four. Cool. Yeah, okay. number four. This next one is a little bit uh, more sad. Okay. But it's beautiful in okay. essence, and it's called The Pianist. Okay. Uh, all right, so we're gonna take a look at this, and then we'll jump back into some more conversation. Oh my gosh! Yeah, that was magic. Like we should just all go home now. Mm -hmm. I can barely hold it together. It's uh, it's pretty heavy. So, <sighs> to give you some context to the story, yeah, okay. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. So the pianist it was released in two thousand two, and it's during World War Two. Mm -hmm. um, and the story is that this pianist, um, who is this Polish pianist, uh, I'm gonna try and say this name, I've been practicing, I don't know if I'll say it right, but it's uh, Władysław uh, Zipleman, I think. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but he basically, the story is um, that he, s he was hiding in uh, Warsaw after um, it was destroyed. And he was hiding out and he, then he was found and he played piano. And that's kind of the story. Whoa. Um, it's, it's okay. It's a happy ending at the end, so okay. it's all good. Um, watch the movie if you haven't. It's a very good one have to for watch me. This movie. Um, but the pianist is, for me, it's a it's a testimony to how music and how humans who create music um, can endure lots of stress and anxiety, and it's just very beautiful. Trauma. In that sense. Yeah. Like you are cool. in the trauma. Like you are. Mm -hmm. You are. It takes you there. Yeah, and Is it's that Adrian Brody. It was Adrian Brody. Yeah, the actor was Adrian. Did Brody. he play? Was he? He must have been playing. I don't know. I was looking for this and I couldn't find. There's out. no way he wasn't playing. Like that looked so on it, point. It, they might have had a hand double at some point. Uh, well, that's the thing. I'm not sure. Maybe the more complex parts they had a hand double, but for the, Type it into Google. the most part, well, yeah, we can find out. Was Adrian Brody actually playing the piano? I, I looked, and he didn't. Uh, it didn't seem like There's, it was there. Like, it was just so that was, and that was Chopin, wasn't it? I think so. I mean, okay, because that's accurate. Because Chopin would have been isn't Chopin was from Poland. Mm -hmm. So that's even more. Oh my gosh! Uh, Practice the piano for hours a day until he can master the passages. Yep, he did. There you go. <laughs> Gosh, that would take me like five years to yeah, master that piece. Then uh, it's it just shows how how cool piano is 
and it shows how powerful. Yeah, how powerful it can be used in these kind of scenarios. So it's very cool. The power of music has no borders, and this is what so. the, the the movie is really trying to portray. So I'm giving that a ten. That's my ten as no, well. I can this see is, why. This is my Whew. favorite film that we have so far, but. I might be convinced otherwise. Okay. Down this more. list, there is more. Okay. Number five, this one, we're gonna switch it up. We'll have a little Changing bit. Changing gears? Yeah, a little bit more of a lighter tone. This one is Tom and Jerry's <laughs> The Jerry. Cat Concierto. And this is one of the more recognizable Tom and Jerry uh, clips, I'm pretty sure. So we'll take a look, we'll have some laughs, and then we'll talk about it after. Okay. I loved how that like brings the fun back to you. Mm -hmm. Like it's just fun. It is. And it like makes you kind of curious about the piano. It does. Because you see the inside and all the hammers, mm -hmm. and yep. I identify with the mouse. Oh yeah, guaranteed. <laughs> yeah, I th I don't know who I would really fit there. Uh, let's say Tom just for fun. Okay, yeah, yeah that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. I feel that dynamic. Yeah. yeah. So some fun facts about this it was released in 1947. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. The actors are Tom and Jerry. Obviously. Yeah. Um, the song is being played for the most part is the Hungarian Rhapsody Number no. Two. Yeah. So that's the, that's the song or the piece. Um, this actually won an Oscar in 1946. No way. Yeah. Oscar worthy moments from Pretty our cool. pals Tom and Jerry. Pretty cool. No, that was super good. I'm giving. I like. It wasn't like it didn't inspire me necessarily to go play. No, but, I was but super it was amused. fun. So it I'm was gonna fun. give it like a seven. Yeah, I'll give it a six just because mm. it was fun. Okay. But some of the stuff was really unrealistic. Okay, next up. Next up, what number is this? Number six. Six. So <gasps> the Twilight piano scene. Oh, the romantic scene. piano scene from Twilight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, released in 2008, and this is where Bella and. Um, Edward. Edward. Get yeah. Together, Sam. Oh my goodness. So romantic. Yes, they play the piano, or at least Edward. Edward is. plays the piano. Okay, yeah. let's, let's watch. watch. It. Okay, so, <laughs> I mean, it's super cheesy, uh -huh. but the piano is really pretty. It is, yes, I And I, agree. I feel like Robert Pattinson played mm -hmm. it. For like, he did. I yeah. feel like, like if you watch it, his hands weren't perfectly, yeah. but I think he actually plays. I think he does a little bit. I uh, didn't look into that too much, but I do know that this song is called Bella's Lullaby. Well, yeah. That's the piece. We all know that. Yeah, yeah. well, I didn't. I found that out. Um, it was composed by Carter Burwell, um, mm -hmm. and... This is being used as more of a story element yeah. as opposed to an entertainment value. Well, but if you read the books, you know it's a little, mm -hmm. it's, it's important. Yes, so it's a cool little aspect of the story. I feel like it's kind of a weird setup though in the film. Like it just seems like it's all foggy and Well, just because like, they're, it's about, okay. We're not even. Yeah, we'll probably discuss this after. Probably. But yes, for me, this is kind of like a five. Yeah, I gave it a five, it a five too. It's not. It's, a, it's important. It's iconic. It's special, but it's, it's kind not of, fancy. Meh. Yeah. So well, I mean. Moving on. It was fun. That Sorry, was fun. That was, that was good. That was good. Okay, this next one's fun. This one's Ray Charles movie. Well, I haven't seen this one either. Uh, it's just called Ray, uh, and it's with Jamie Foxx, and we released in two thousand and four. So right. lots of fun here. Let's take a look. 
It's gonna be our way. You know what they say, we got a little bit more work to do. That was the last song in the book, right? It, it, you know, Fathead, it ain't never the last song. Uh, now, band, follow me, do what I do, say what I say. This is how we're gonna do it. <laughs> Yeah, love that. Oh my so goodness. Good. So he basically like calms a very angry crowd by just sitting down and p playing amazing music? Yeah, so the, the venue, the owner of the venue is like, yeah. whoa, 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 21 minutes on your set, bud. Like, what? this is the contract. So a Ray's manager goes up to him and says, we got 20 more minutes and you ran out of songs. Like, what are you going to do? And Ray says, I got this, and makes Clearly. up a song <laughs> on the spot. Like, just Sorry. makes it up. And he uses what's like a blues progression. Yes. So I, all the band members kind of know what's going to happen, um, and they just kind of start picking it up. And this was the moment where uh, the song What I Say was <sighs> created. And he later ended up going to record this song, and it was a huge hit. Um, but ah. it was just spontaneous like creation on the spot, live, and it's really cool. Um, and this was their closer for years after, just because it was such a oh, high-energy song. Gosh, it's yeah. amazing. It's really cool. So Jamie Foxx is the actor here. Um, he was a classical trained, classically trained pianist. I think that makes sense, because it yeah. looks like he knows what he's doing. Yep. And uh, he was not singing this song. No, I didn't think so. No, but he was playing. Yeah, okay. So, so he's lip-syncing in this video, yes. which is really impressive, but um, just because it's it looks, accurate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he has, he is actually playing the That's music, amazing. which is kind of cool. That's really cool. Um, so for this one, uh, ranking, what do you what do you say? I think like eight. Eight? Yeah. I like this one. I'm gonna give it a nine just because it's so much energy it's and so, so much fun. Energy. And, just and you the, love Ray Charles. I love Ray Charles. Yeah. He's one of my favorites. So cool. So that's that one. All uh, right. Moving on, uh, we have Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Uh -huh. And when you think of Harry Potter, you don't think yeah, of, I think of the piano. piano. I didn't know there's a piano uh, woman in here. I know. It was kind of surprising. I totally forgot it was here. But this is from the Deathly Hollows movie. Um, okay. There's two parts uh, in the Deathly Hollows, but this one is the, I believe it's Deathly Hollows part one. Okay. And it's where Ron and Hermione, so Rupert Grant and Emma Watson, are sitting at the piano oh. and they're just kind of playing around. And this is like their first moment of being kind of in a relationship. Oh, cute. Yeah, so we'll take a look. We'll see how it goes. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm excited for this one. I love Harry Potter. So here we go. Be a bit gentle. Okay, so that was short. But it was sweet. It was so sweet. Yeah, and I think it's really cool because even though there were some wrong notes here, yep. it still sounded like Fiora Elise, which was it what was Fiora Elise. Yeah, and, and that's like the song that everybody plays on the piano when there's just an old piano kicking around. Mm -hmm. So I think this is really cool representation of like student to teacher. Okay. And it really shows like oh Hermione's teaching Ron like this Cute. is how it looks. Yeah. So it's it's kind of cool. Kind of. Kind of I liked sweet. how it was like just like this like little moment of connection. Mm -hmm. Like I like how people, you know, you see an instrument. That's one of my favorite things about music is it brings us together. Mm -hmm. So just like sit down with a, with, well, in this case it was a romantic interest, but sitting down at the piano with somebody and just, mm -hmm. you know, you know, it was just a cute little yeah. everyday moment. I loved it. So out of ten, what would you rank? I give it a six. Six? It didn't blow my mind. I'm gonna give it an eight point five. Oh, Sam! I love Harry Potter. All right, I'm bye. A little bit biased, but that's okay. All right, cool. Let's. What do we got next? Number nine. Number nine. Bohemian Rhapsody, Ooh. the Live Aid concert scene. So he's playing piano in front of a lot of people. I have a the exact number, but we'll take a look. It's pretty epic. And then you'll tell us the number after? I will tell you the number okay, after. Fine. Mama, just killed a man. But I got against his head. Oh, my trigger now. We just begun Okay, 
okay. Epic. Epic. Yes. Oh, there are any even words. I'm pretty sure Epic. Freddie Mercury is like what made the piano cool again. I'm. He's probably a huge part of it. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, pretty wild to see that many people in like an audience and to play in front of that many people. Uh, and to know be, this is what really like this happened. This this did happen. Yeah. So this movie was released in 2018. Okay. Um, the actor was Remy Mala Malik. Yeah, I think yeah, so. Malik. I think that's how you say it. But yeah, he is. Accurately depicting Freddie Mercury to the T. Unbelievable. Yeah, really cool. Um, this scene depicts the famous Live Aid performance of the classic song Bohemian Rhapsody, um, and this was aired over 110 countries <gasps> uh, with, well, I think it was like four or five different satellites, uh, 13 satellites that were beaming this concert in front of 70,000 people in the live stage Oh audience. my gosh, no pressure. Yeah, so no big deal. a bit of a massive crowd, but it was cool, he nailed it um, in this shot as well as the actual performance, yeah. if you want to check that out as well, super cool. Um, yeah, it's just, uh, Freddie Mercury was an amazing performer, and I think <sighs> this scene really depicted that, and the piano part was awesome. So out of 10, what do you I'm think? I'm gonna get a nine. Nine? Yep. I'm a nine as well. Yep. Yeah, this is pretty cool. That's pretty epic. I really liked it. Cool. We have one more, and you probably are like, if they don't do this one, this isn't a real top ten. I like this scene a lot. La this La was Land. A lot of fun. Yes, La La Land. Awesome. So, number ten, La La Land. Here we go. Okay, just go, you do that on the piano, Sam. No, I cannot do that. That is Did, was amazing. That, was Ryan Gosling playing? Ryan Gosling no. was playing. There is a documentary about this. It's just a short little one. And he practiced for, I think it was three or four months with a private instructor, two to three hours a day, and then practiced on his own after that. And he did every piano scene. There is no hand uh, double. There's nothing. It's all Ryan. I was I was astounded. I did not know that. That was it. Just blew my mind that that was um, him. Please tell me he had some piano lessons prior to this event. He didn't. That's annoying. That's so annoying. Let's <laughs> not keep him he, there. He said he played a little bit by ear. He kind of mixed around with some chords, but he had no formal training until this movie happened. And he had always said he wanted to learn how to play piano. Well, and now he he's has like, a passion. yeah. And now he has. Uh, he's probably. Regarded as a quietly like quite he's, uh, yeah he's good he's got some chops <laughs> he's good. yeah he's crazy good so this is cool is released in 2016 Ryan Gosling obviously here is Sebastian um, the character um, and this is the moment where he's playing in the lounge and like, he always wants to be a jazz pianist and he's just playing these like these Christmas gigs and he's playing the same songs and he really wants to show the world that he can do that and so this is oh, just he like showed them. this emotion just poured out of him and it was very cool i loved it this i was, love that too this movie my first time i saw it it just oh, it made me cry so much I if you haven't, haven't if you haven't seen it you should check it out it's quite cool um very good acting very good piano playing um, obviously with ryan um but out of 10 i'm gonna give it a nine i'm gonna give this one a 10. i was gonna give it a 9.5 originally but after seeing it here i i've changed my mind i'm gonna give it a 10. So it good. is so so good so there we have it that's that's 10 our top 10 
piano, Hollywood piano, I don't know which order to say that in. Hollywood piano scenes? Moments. Moments? Yeah. It's the top 10 of the piano in the Hollywood things. <laughs> Perfect. And with that, we want to know if we missed anything. Yes. So, Give us your top 10 list. Yes. Please and thank you. Um, and let us know if there's anything we, sh we should review in the future. Yes. Um, Tell us your favorites. Or some fun facts that you know about some of these scenes that we missed. That maybe we didn't know. So Please. happy commenting. Mm -hmm. Thanks for hanging out and watching. And I think we should cut the video by saying adios. Mm -hmm.